fight the, the battle. It's something to do with the program, I think. Welcome to Breakfast with Spaniels with Dr. Judy Morgan. <laughs> Purchase all of Dr. Morgan's products at her website at www.drjudymorgan.com. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good morning. Microphone. I'm trying to answer questions, which uh, I, I should just... Anyway, um, so it's hump day. It's... Uh, what the heck was I looking for? crystals <laughs> sorry I you know I get so many emails and messages every day um, that it takes sometimes hours to get through them all and um, it can be frustrating give me one second to do this and then I'm coming uh, Oh, yeah. It, it can be frustrating because 90% of the answers that people are looking for are on my website. So before you send me a question, go to drjudymorgan.com and um, go to the little search bar up top, the little magnifying glass, and type in what you're looking for answers for and see if there's something there because I actually spend a lot of time um, <laughs> going to my own website, finding the article, and then posting that answer. Um, and it, it's just, it's time consuming. And I, I really try hard to, uh, to get to all the questions. Um, but obviously the more people know about me, the more questions I get. Um, and it's, it's a lot. So please look there first. Uh, and see if you can find the answer. And um, if you're asking about a really, really complicated case where your animal has m multiple things going on, it's a long, complicated thing that, you know, you've seen multiple doctors, multiple specialists, just schedule a consultation because I can't answer in an email without all the information and I'm not going to read a 40-page email. <laughs> So, um, so, uh, just to clear up a little housekeeping there, cause it's, it's a lot. Uh, the good news is yesterday I finished my 800 page pain course. Today I get to take my exam. So I'm dedicating the day, which is why I'm trying to get some of this stuff done. I'm dedicating my day to taking my exam. And, um, once I start, I have to sit and finish and, um, luckily it is open book, but, uh, it's just time consuming and obviously I'm a type A personality and I want to do well on the exam. So, eh, <laughs> so that's today. Um, okay. Uh, so I want to tell you a couple things and I'm, I'm going to have to write a blog and get some pictures, but while we were away, mom's standard schnauzer Shotzi, who will be 17 in October, which is pretty old for a 50 pound dog. Um, Hmm. October's just, October's just around the corner. So um, 
while we were away, she had to spend a lot of time alone uh, because our pet sitter works in my office. So some of her days are 12 hour days. And one of the days she didn't get home till almost 930 at night because they had a rough day and she had left at eight o'clock in the morning. And that's a really long day for a dog that age to be left alone. So you're pretty much guaranteed to have some accidents in the house. But the bigger problem with Shotzi is that she has problems getting up and down on her own. So uh, that became a bit of an issue a couple of days. The pet sitter came home and the dog was, you know, I'd had a, a bowel movement. Uh, luckily, she doesn't ever have diarrhea, um, but then had swum around in it. So there were baths and, and a mess. And uh, luckily, uh, we have another friend who uh, volunteered and was willing to come over and uh, help out in the middle of the day, let Shotzi out and help her get up and make sure she got to the water bowl and that sort of thing. And, and that became very helpful after, after the first day of, oh my gosh, that's too long a day for her. Uh, Patty stepped up to the plate and we were very grateful for that. Uh, but we had to change a few things based on some changes that happened. And thankfully, since we've gotten back home, Shotzi's back on her game again and pretty much back to normal. But, uh, you know, as you can imagine, my mom dotes on her and really uh, does over the top care, just like we used to do for Scout and Charlie. When you have 17, 18, 19 year old pets, the level of care, Michelle Allen can speak to this at Monkey's House, the level of care for each individual pet doubles, triples, you know, kind of goes off the scale, which is why a lot of people bail and say, I, you know, I don't have the time, I don't have the energy, I don't have the desire to do this much work. Um, I, I frown on that. But, um, you know, for some people, it's physical limitations that, that may stop them from being able to care for particularly a, a larger, older pet. So because of some of those physical limitations, because you've seen my mom, she's this little tiny thing, and even and Shotzi's lost a little bit of weight, but even a 45-pound dog is a lot for a little tiny person. So we did a couple of things this week uh, to really help Shotzi out, and um, so far seems to be working very well. So one, uh, we don't have carpet anywhere, except my mom has carpet in her room. Um, <laughs> which sort of worked and sort of didn't work because it made it a little easier for Shotzi to get up on her own, but it made it a little worse when she had an accident and then swam in it on the carpet. Um, but we uh, got boots for her. We went on Amazon and I found a four pack of these rubber grippy boots that just Velcro on. I had to guess at the size because I wasn't at home, but we had got overnight shipping and they arrived and our pet sitter put them on Shotzi and it was an immediate improvement in her ability to get up and to walk on the hardwood floors. Um, and frankly, since we've gotten home, she doesn't really need the front end boots. She just needs those back end boots. Uh, so it's been um, very, very helpful for her to be able to get up and get get going on her own. Uh, she has a lot of proprioception problems in her back end. Her legs tend to cross over. They tend to knuckle over a little bit. Um, so because it's difficult for her, oh, here's her boots. Um, I guess this is pronounced gummy pets, Q-U-M-Y pets. So they just have nice little Velcros. So very easy to get on and off and very grippy bottoms. And they're sort of a sneaker mesh on top, so they're breathable. That's one of the problems with boots for your pets. You've gotta be very careful um, that their feet don't get wet and moist inside the boots. So it's nice that these have the little uh, sneaker mesh tops on them. There's a million brands out there on the market, but these are working really well for her. Um, 